Good morning, good morning. Okay, sorry for the delay. Let's get this chat open. I'm on a different table, so it's probably gonna be a little bit wobblier. This one seems to be wobbly. <clears throat> All right, we already got some people here. Okay, so the story is, dang, look at all these comments. Whoa, yeah, because I had to delay the stream. So sorry, so sorry. So the story is, <laughs> I'm sweating for one. I'm gonna like have to have a shower after this haul. My niece is, Wow, is she 18? I think she just turned 18 and she has a little baby. He's like four months old. She texts me this picture with all these clothes on the floor and she's like, hey, I'm moving out of town. Do you want these clothes? If not, I'm gonna throw them in the trash. So I pick up my phone, I'm going to get a smoothie because I haven't eaten today, but I have a green smoothie here. It's got fruit in it and stuff. So I pick up the phone and I call her. I'm like, where are you going? And she's like, we're moving, her and her boyfriend are moving to Laredo, Texas because he got a job there. And she's like, yeah, we're gonna get an RV and we're gonna move every four months. And I'm like, you know Laredo's a rough town, right? Like it's known to not be the most safest to live in. Um, I don't think there's very many white people there for one and she's a very pretty, you know, woman why her husband will be at her boyfriend, whatever, will be at work. She's like, yeah, but we'll be an hour and a half away outside of Laredo. I'm like, okay, whatever. Yeah, I'll come get your clothes. So like 30 minutes before the live stream, I'm like, okay. She's like, if you don't want them, I'm going to throw them in the trash. Lo and behold, I pull up to her apartment complex that she's moving out of you guys. And I know I've seen a lot of uh, YouTubers on here are doing their dumpster dive videos. Holy moly, the apartment complex has these huge ass dumpsters, you guys. And they are full of shit. I'm like, wow. So that's probably like what my niece wanted to do. Just like throw all her shit in the trash because she's just randomly going to move and can't take it with her, right? So let your friends know they should go to the apartment complexes, right? I don't know. <clears throat> or the, it was just overflowing. So I literally, right before the stream, while I was late, was uh, climbing up three flights of stairs, and my brother-in-law, brother is that what you call it? My sister's husband ended up showing up, and he was by himself, so I helped him haul some furniture down three flights of stairs. So you talked amongst yourselves. <laughs> That's so funny how everybody's friends in here, right? Like, not only are you friends with me, but you're friends with everyone in the chat. That's so great. So great. Welcome, Pickers, Incense Shop, Casey Lakeman, Bobby Loves a Coupon, Thrifty Christy. I think that's probably it. Let's see who else is in here. I saw, um, 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 um what's her name? Amelia. Hello. I was going to pop in your stream this morning, but as you can tell, I've been busy. All right. So let's get to going because this is going to probably take an hour long stream as always. But I got some good stuff. Let me show you one of the first best pieces that I found. And this is actually going to be two hauls from two different trips to the pound store where everything is weighed by the pound. <clears throat> so I didn't have the chat popped out, but I had it open. So we're just going to minimize that. Okay. Like, I don't have makeup on or anything. It's like, I don't care. I just got dressed. I don't, I haven't even brushed my hair. Like, literally, I just kind of pull it back. So it's like extremely tangly. <laughs> okay, I'll shut up now. Okay, first bag. Oh, no, I wanted to show you the first thing that I thought is the, one of the coolest things that I found. And it's going to, like, probably bring me a profit that's going to bring triple what I spent on all this stuff. So these pair of boots alone, I think will give me my investment back plus profit is what I really meant to say. Oh, oh I forgot to Casey, uh, Colin Pickers, but it's his real name. I, 
Mm, yeah, he's on my Facebook. I can't think of it. Just because I need to get this haul going. So a lady next to me always got a story, right? She picks, she finds these boots and they do have mud all over them. They're actually wet right now because I probably ruined them and I sprayed them with water. That's how I clean boots. Don't do as I do. I mean, these things were caked with mud. Like how else do you get mud off of boots without water? I don't care. That's just how I clean them. Again, don't do as I do. There's probably a different way you should do it. So these are Ariots, and just by touching them, they feel like the chick wore them one time, and she, like, got them muddy. She got wasted and walked in the mud, right? I don't know. <laughs> that Our Texas Tech girls here in Lubbock. We have a lot of college girls that like to party. Um, so these are, like I said, they're Ariot, and they're very expensive boots. These are a, don't be my size. I'm all like, please don't be, Henry, that's right. Um, please don't be my size because these are like some really cute boots with some dresses and I don't own any cute boots like these and they're not my size. Thank heaven for that. Um, I don't really like to say that word, but, uh, made in Mexico, they're a 6.5 B and I can probably definitely get some good profit. I cannot tell you the profit because I'll have to do comps first. I usually don't, um, <clears throat> look up comps for you guys on these videos. Everyone here pretty much knows how to do comps, right? If you don't, let me know and I'll teach you. So I got these for my mother-in-law. She's my stepmother-in-law. Um, she adopted a little girl. I've told this story in other videos. Um, and she came over the other day and she was wearing some Wally World shoes and it was the first day of school. And I felt really bad. Uh, because the Walmart shoes had already scraped off all the black around the toes. So I went ahead and um, when she was over here, we had to pick her up from school the first day. Um, I randomly, since I saw what she was wearing, I looked at her shoe size and her clothes size and I wrote it down. And the next day, the first day I went back to the bins, I found a cute pair of Reebok tennis shoes. Um, Honestly, I feel like that would be offensive that I would buy the little girl some clothes and I don't care It's my mother-in-law and like a st what is she some kind of step family member or something, right? She's family So and I also had found that some other little things that I have for her That whatever I'm not gonna do like a pity party. I'm like, oh, I have this stuff and I'm not selling them So nobody's buying them. You can have them <laughs> Just make some up, up some little excuse, right? A wire brush or a horse brush. Yes, I should have done that. But me, like, I don't care. Like, any damage that I do to the boot, I will just list it in the listing. Like, oh, there's water damage. Like, it could have rained and she could have walked in those boots. It's the same thing to me. So, um, you just are supposed to put a water protectant. And I sh should have put a water protectant on it. But how do you do that with mud all over them, right? Um, let me just show you some more boots. So I almost threw these back, you guys. Literally almost threw them back. But they're in perfect condition. They are um, thinsulate or, yeah, thinsulate. And I've seen these off and on. Um, the only reason why I really wanted to pick these up is, one, winter is coming. And, two, it's the boots with the fur, right? Two dollars. So I bought each of those boots and shoes for $2, and these are also $2 at the Pound Store, which is a.k.a. your bins or your whatever else they call it. They look warm. They're super uber warm. They are almost, I'm going to say again, only worn once, if never worn at all. They look brand new, so these are a size 10. <clears throat> And then as I'm going through the shoes, I was actually luckily there when some new rows came out. These are a pair of born booties. However, they are very dusty and I love it when girls donate their booties that are suede because I learned that suede cleans very well with a scrub brush if you do it gently. So basically there's multiple layers of suede and you can like scratch off the thin layers and just put a little bit of water lightly. 
and all this dust will come right off. These are like in excellent dirty condition. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Um, they're 8.5 medium. I do not wear an eight and a half. I wear a seven and a half to eight. So thank goodness I don't, I won't be keeping those. And it's been a long time. I found some Birkenstocks. They're the thong. I, I think I started learning to put, if they go in between your toe, to put the word thong on there. So they're like sandal thong, Jesus uh, shoes. You guys, these are your number one brand as well as Choco. So these are made in Germany, right? Yeah which I'm German, so I freaking love it, right? I am totally German, Irish, and Italian. Uh, made in Germany, Birkenstock, 42. Oh, look, they started putting the size on there in English, I think. Does that say I'm 11? I have to look on Poshmark to tell the uh, European sizes. You just open up Poshmark. Let me just find a shoe. Well, my mom doesn't have shoes on here. Yeah, here she does. So if you go into edit, and I just go into the size, wait, does it? No. Hey, it's not doing it no more. Well, hell, never mind. Don't, don't uh, listen to what I just said. Me too, German, Irish, and English. I have a tiny bit of Spanish, not English. I haven't heard that I'm English. Almost done with this bad boy. I forgot to put the dogs inside. If they're annoying, I'm sure they are. I'm like, should I go get him or put him inside and uh, grab a refill on my coffee? Like, I don't even need any more coffee. Oh, um, oh, look, here's another pair of shoes. And I was cleaning those boots and I was like, and another pair that's out there that I already hauled for you guys. Kind of, but I was like, do I have any more shoes I need to clean? And these are it. These are going to be completely soaked. These are your number one. Like I said, they're Vibram, but they're that Choco. I was so happy to find these, you guys. They sell for like 50 bucks and above or whatever. So Choco, that's your second number one. So Birkenstock. Even if they're damaged a little at the toes, which these are not, Thank you. Um, these things, again, it's like they walk through the mud and they were like, uh, I'm not cleaning those. And they're almost brand new. This girl don't care. I will soak those bad boys, put on some gloves and scrub them up for a $50 check. Hell yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess we're just going to do the hard goods. It's in this Tupperware, which is probably smart because I need the Tupperware to start throwing clothes in it. And uh, Heinz 57. What? I don't get it. Heinz 57. <laughs> I've heard of the joke, but I can't remember what it is. Um, I got a Tupperware. Uh, one of these in the background. You can see my Tupperwares. I got one at the pound store. I was happy because they cost me like five or six bucks. Let me go get Bud inside. Hold on. Hold on. Wow, that was annoying. Sorry. Anyways, I got some more coffee. <sighs> You're a mutt. Oh, Heinz 57. That's right. Okay, I remember. Yes, me too. Okay, back to this uh, thingy here. So, weird. I don't think any of these sold... But holy moly, I scanned it with the eBay app on the barcode, and people are selling this thing for like $80, or they have it listed. So I figure, huh, 
I paid 75 cents for this. I can totally list mine for like 50 or even 45 and sell mine way quicker than their 80 or $60 one that they have listed. I think it's brand new. It's never even been opened. It's a thick little, uh, yeah, right? Next quarter, Casey keeps saying, you know, I'm new to that whole quarter thing. Like, I don't follow the what y'all are saying. Like, oh, it's first quarter, second quarter, third quarter. I'm going to have to learn that. Which fourth quarter, the end of the year. I get it, but I don't know anything else about it. So, yeah, just other than, obviously, your holiday and winter stuff is going to sell, too. So, um, yeah, this was cool because this probably cost me $1. And if people, you know, I see a piece that might be opened in here. Maybe. We'll have to check it later if all the pieces are there. But to me, I think everything's there. See? If not, we're pretty close. Things sell very well. Oh, okay, yeah, that's true. I get it. Um, oh my god, don't drop on me. So I'm kind of regretting that I bought this, but I couldn't resist because it's glass. Um, my husband and my son, they, pit, they play chess. Like, I've played it when I was a kid, and I just don't like the game. I don't like how long the game takes either. I love to play checkers and Chinese checkers. I'm just not a chess girl, okay? Is that the bearded picker? Don't be a price dropper. Okay, for the fourth quarter. Gotcha. Well, I need to do some price drops on these clothes, Bearded Picker, because I'm running out of space. My mom has listed everything. She's already taking over into my spot. Like, oh my gosh, I don't want my whole garage filled with Tupperwares full of shit. <laughs> you know, if I had a shop like you do, yeah, I saw your shop and putting up all your little uh, new shelvings. Yeah, if I had a shop like that, I wouldn't care. So this is in the box. I did, I think I scanned it on eBay, but I didn't really get it to resell. I got it to um, see if my husband wanted it, but I don't think he's gonna want it. He has a wood one. Um, so here's a glass chess one, and it's a bummer because you have to clean that glass often if you want it. I don't know. Anyways. It does have a $30 price on there from when it was originally bought. It, like I said, I opened it. All the pieces are there, and it wasn't broke, so I took a risk on it. But it is kind of heavy, so $0.75 cents a pound. I paid a couple dollars for it. Boom, and I break it. No, I'm joking. Okay, so I think before I met the bearded picker, I would see these JVC uh, camcorders and I'd be like, yeah, nobody's into that stuff no more. But after going to Austin, the green room meetup and seeing these guys checking out all these VCRs and just every electronic that they could get their hands on, uh, VHSs, you know, like you never know when you'll find a good one. So I just randomly, at a new row at the pound store. It had the case to it, but it was really big, so I didn't get the case. I got this JVC um, camcorder, camcorder, said that wrong. Um, I did look it up on eBay. I think it sold for like 50 bucks. So I thought, well, I can ship it easier and cheaper without the big case. So I just got all the parts to it, so. It is, if anybody cares for those men out there like the bearded picker, sorry I don't go into detail on my electronic or whatever this is called. It's a compact VHS digital signal processing GRAX900 VHS thingy. So got that. It looked and appeared that the owner had taken very good uh, care of it. I'm not sure if a cover needs to go on that. I bet it does, but it's missing. Um, they did take good care of it. So it's got the charger, and then it's got a remote. And then the other yeah, Walgreens one, I haven't seen very many, but I saw one or two. So maybe he can answer my question about something. So on toys, on Amazon, are people gated on toys as, or is everyone allowed to sell toys when they first sign up on Amazon? Does anybody know? 
or stuffed animals because I got like four of the same stuffed animal that has a barcode on it. I'll show y'all just a second. So anyways, I got these. I'm going to um, probably do a buy it now or an auction on that. I know I think Bearded Picker never does auctions. I think I heard him say gated on some brands. Okay. Um, so yeah. Okay, you guys, I think I thought I had hauled some of these. Is it in my death pile somewhere? But these little Tupperware cups, I'm pretty sure when I did comps on these that these bad boys sell, you guys. Oh, you like the VHS? Cool. The camcorder? Normally, I just, I don't get those. But I started taking my time and looking up things more. That? When I think about it, I'll tell you. So I saw these and I grabbed them immediately. I was like, these are mine. Yeah, my, all of our moms had these. Yes. Love these things. Love the baby colors or do you call them pastel? I don't know. Not sure. Put those inside of a boot. So, oh, last thing. Uh, my... 12 year old he's in the seventh grade this year um i had to take him to get some cleats they said we only needed to buy cleats and a mouth guards but i randomly found this chin thing it looks like a jock strap but it's a chin thing <laughs> uh so i got it i don't know if he'll need it or like it i haven't even showed it to him so if not i'll just throw it in a garage sale Okay, so again, I got a Tupperware, and this I'm very happy about because I run out of Tupperwares, and I prefer the clear ones because when I pull stuff, numbers out of the inventory, I can usually see right through it and not have to dig through the whole thing. You drank homemade sweet tea in them in my aunt's house as a kid. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You guys are awesome. Let me show you this toy that I found. So they were in a big clear plastic bag, and the bag was kind of a heavy trash bag. I'm so cheap that as soon as I got to the register, I took them all out of that plastic bag so she wouldn't weigh the bag. And I only got the stuffed animals. So luckily the Tupperware is clean. We'll throw that at the bottom of the Tupperware. So when I saw these, I immediately thought of Amazon. I was like, ooh, I can sell those on Amazon. I don't even sell on Amazon. Like, I don't even have an account uh, to sell because I think I didn't sell anything. They kicked me out, right? They kicked me off. So there are these stuffed animals, but they're for baby showers. And they're brand new. There's not anything wrong with it. He's still wrapped around his neck. But it's got the barcode. Here, is that a mosquito? Better go away. It's First Maine, First and Maine Incorporated. If anybody cares. Oh, is that a price? Cool, that's not bad, $24.50? So I don't know if I'm gonna put them on eBay or for Amazon, I don't know. I would love to sell on Amazon. I'm going to start trying to pick up multiples of things, you know, slowly but surely. Okay, if you see me periodically looking down like I'm um, just geeking or something, it's because I have to continuously look to make sure the mosquitoes aren't eating me. They love to, yeah, get me. I have O negative blood. So here's another one. So we have two and then three. I think I have a total of four is what it looks like. So there's four. And they all have everything it comes with, the new stuffed animals. Sell them local on Craigslist. They have a baby section, and it's free. Okay. Or maybe Facebook, too. He's cute. <laughs> um, and here's a receipt from 816. Was that Thursday or Friday? I don't know. That was Thursday. Okay. So check it out. If this is in the bag with the storks, it would have been weighed at Hardline. So I paid $3.23 for four storks that are brand new with tags. 
And then it says I got clothes. Okay, cool. Which is in this bag also. So I would have paid um, $9.75 for the clothes that I'll show y'all next. We'll kind of keep it together. Because I have one more bag that was from Friday. That stuff is strong. What stuff? Did I miss something? Oh, put a treat... Put tea tree oil in a little dish and keep it near you. Keeps the bugs away. I do got me some tea tree oil that I never use. Thank you. Um, here's that last one. I mean, perfect. Somebody just donated uh, their boutique inventory or something. So we got those cute little guys. Yeah, that's it on those. I'll keep the bag. That way I can put them back in the bag. All right, let's move this one, and we'll go through the bag that was with the stork. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to have to say I'm a little scared on this one. It is a leather jacket, and it's vintage. It's very heavy, but I guess I'm not too worried. It says I only spent $9.75 on clothes, so hopefully I'll have something to make up for this leather jacket. I don't know. I didn't look up the comps. So this could be a good jacket or it could be a not profitable. I don't know. I'll show you. And I just randomly grabbed it while I was checking out and I didn't look up the comps. But when I picked it up, I was like, wow, this is a really heavy leather jacket. Like everyone likes leather jackets. I should have no problem selling it, right? I don't know. It just depends super old you guys it's a size 40 made in Japan so there's the vintage tag they didn't you can smell it man it just smells like a vintage house or a vintage thrift store what does that say precisely tailored okay so it's just a leather I think it's a man's or men's jacket I did inspect it. I didn't see any rips. So the sleeves, it's got a belt on both of the wrist. Pretty nice jacket if I don't say so myself. It's just really old. So yeah, no clue. Really nice. It has a belt in the back. So not too bad that I got it for less than $9 considering that I have a whole bag of really cute clothes now that I see it. Okay, I'm going to try these on. I might keep these. These are a peach. They're a size large. I don't, it's a boutique, I assume. And um, it's some shorts, and luckily they're a large, so I think they might be able to fit me. Oh, well, that was a good question. Um. You know what? That's a very good question. So here's the tags inside on the leather jacket. That's, yeah, okay. So the shell is expanded vinyl. It's not even a leather jacket. It's uh, with 100% rayon. Lining is rayon cotton. And the pile is acrylic with cotton. So that's why I said, like, I might have hurt myself on this jacket. Um, but someone's saying maybe it sells for $40, so that's okay. However, it's going to be very heavy to ship this, so, and it's not going to fit in that $7 bag, so it's going to be like $15 just to ship this. You wore that style skirt when I was a teen, <laughs> yeah, except it's not a skirt. It's totally, yeah, I guess it does look like a skirt. I would have never thought that, Casey. Still decent, even at 30 bucks, yeah. So I took a risk, even though I would like to go hire profitable items. Um, and you know what? Look, the belt, uh, the plastic belt little square is broke. I didn't see that. So I'm just going to take that off, and I'm not going to ship that. Nobody even needs it. It's not repairable. I'm sure you could just put a replacement one on there, right? No problem. That will fit in the medium flat rate. So what is that? How much is that to ship the medium flat rate? 
Is that isn't that one like fifteen bucks? I don't know. I'm not sure. <clears throat> okay, so yeah, I got some just some cute style clothes. Nothing like expensive wear. Um, here's a Calvin Klein sweater. And it's a size medium. It's performance. And I sell these, you guys, but for like 10 to 20 bucks. It's the long cow neck. I think that's cow. $12.95? Yeah. Okay. The coat buyers pay. Okay. Yeah. I'll probably charge them shipping on that bad boy. So it says Calvin Klein down this side. So I went ahead and got it. People love to show off brands. Look like a hot mess, you guys. Um, there's that. Ooh, I could almost keep this bad boy, and I probably will. It is blue pepper, size large, and it's got the cold shoulder. Bam! A lot of cold shoulder on that. Very nice leather jacket. Sorry I was on posh, but still watching. No worries, no worries. So, yeah, it's like this. It kind of reminds me of Free People now that I'm holding it up. It's kind of oversized. It's nice. I charge shipping for everything over one pound. That is smart. I agree with that for sure. Okay, so I'm going to keep that one too. Wear it a couple times and then I will resell it. I totally take stuff, wear it. And like I always tell you guys, I will go through my closet and I'll organize and get rid of a bunch of stuff. Um, blue pepper or the jacket? Which one, Thrifty? I'm um, blue pepper. Oh yay! I just finished that smoothie. Um, blue pepper. I think that sold at like just like Dillard's or something. Well, if not, it's like a boutique brand. I can't remember if it's a boutique or if it's sold at Dillard's. Hello, but it is 100% cotton, and I had no idea that they had that good of a quality. So the RN number is 104403. Here it is. 104403. Medium flat rate, $12.85, commercial base, or $13.65 at the post office. I was close. <laughs> okay. Hey, that's better than $14. I swear I see a mosquito floating around. I hate mosquitoes. <clears throat> so the next piece, again, I do not pick up loft ever, you guys. I don't like to sell it because... Personally, for me, I've never sold one for, like, over 20 bucks. No shit. Um, I might be wrong on that, but I don't think I... No, it's not anthropology at all. I don't think at all. Um, but if I have a classy piece, I will definitely pick it up. The back of this jacket is peplum, which is very uh, popular. And also, it's a size large, super pretty. I could see myself maybe wearing it to the office, real estate office, in the winter time, like for an appointment or something or meetings. <clears throat> oh my gosh, you spent the last three hours thinking it was Monday. OMG, loft is everywhere. Yeah, it's oversaturated. This one's pretty though. Um, I'm all, it's pretty. Sound like a seller selling their house, but my house is prettier. <laughs> so uh, this is a cute jacket. Zip up also. Great size, you guys. I'm surprised it's not like a smaller or a medium or extra small. Okay, so I think I got this while I was checking out, maybe, and I didn't look up the comps, but the name sounds a little profitable um and then it's solid black and i actually would wear this you guys so i went ahead and got it it's a button down black dress which is not buttoned down buttoned man i would totally wear this it's acris punto 
<laughs> you were thought you thought you were the only one that did that? No, I do that all. on Friday. I could didn't realize it was Friday. Uh, this past Friday, I was like, "Wow, I can't believe it's Friday." Okay, it has this very to me this is kind of like preppy slash classy it's got this huge collar that hangs over and then it's just a long fitted dress and as you can see it has freaking lovely pockets i tell you what i probably won't buy a dress in a store or on poshmark or on ebay if it doesn't have pockets totally won't buy something if it doesn't have pockets no lie Gotta have pockets to hold that cell phone, right? This thing is so pretty, but I think I would just sell it because it's, you know, the cutoff sleeve. A lot of women are insecure with the cutoff sleeves, so that's one thing to keep in mind. I stayed up all night Friday night, really messed me up. I am too old for that. I didn't stay up all night, but my husband did, so pissed me off. They woke me up. I went to bed early Friday night. So I found this like vest that's like super studded out all over. I'm not seeing any studs missing, but there are stains on here. I mean, y'all can't even see them. So I went ahead and risked it, but I'm gonna have to wash this bad boy. And then, God. Can any, I don't even know if I can untangle all that. I'm going to have to chop it all off, right? Make it shorter. <laughs> That's smart, right? Like, look at all that tangled um, fringe that's, like, so popular. Yeah, the this mustard yellow is so popular. It's one of the number one selling colors around, you guys. No lie. One of the top ten colors right now or the past couple years is this uh mustard yellow dude so retro <laughs> that's so funny <sighs> okay so there's that okay so one haul has been done it looks like we only have one more bag to go through and it's all closed and check it out i got a snap-on jacket the snap-on jacket, I think they, I think I saw that for sure it was over 30, but if not, it could be 80. So check out this snap-on jacket I bought. It's a good man jacket for the winter. It's going to go on eBay because I don't like to put this men's stuff on um, Poshmark. So, <clears throat> and as I'm looking straight across from me, there's a huge Snap-on toolbox. Like Snap-on is one of the number one selling tool brand for men. So if you see it, you might check comps and pick up certain things, especially the actual tools. Like if you can find Snap-on tools, you should always pick it up, no doubt. They sell forever. I think they have a lifetime warranty too, you guys. Kind of like another brand that Sears sells, but I can't think of the brand. So here's this um, tag. Snap on. And luckily this jacket is not faded. It is kind of a little fluffy. Like it has a little bit of insulation. I don't know what you call that. Hey, baby gravy. It's kind of like a puffer jacket, but not. I don't know. So it's got fuzz on it. It zips up. And what size is it? It's an XXL. Yay. That's awesome. Great size. So maybe I will have luck setting mine up for like 80 bucks. So we'll see. Okay. Next piece. Um, oh, wow. I guess I didn't finish the story on the boots earlier. Um, so a lady had these boots. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't tell you the story. It's not long at all. A lady had these boots, right? And uh, I saw her pick them up and I was like, oh, wow, those are nice. So I asked her, I was like, are you going to get those? She was like, yeah, maybe if they fit. So I'm like, okay, whatever. I just forget about the boots and I move on. Well, I'm like checking out, right? And the lady comes up to me and she's like, yeah, they don't fit me. Do you want them? I'm like, yes. <laughs> 
Yes, I want those Ariots. <laughs> Score. And some people tell me in the chat, man, people always give you stuff. They sure did that day because Ariot boots, those ones are pretty. Okay. So a lady was holding this up and I saw it and I actually have sold this brand a lot. Pretty Angel. I never seen the tag like this folded though. Um, they don't sell for a crazy amount, but they always sell for like 15, 20 bucks at least. If not, I'm sure others can get more or less, but it's this funky, like, I don't know, swim top, but it's kind of boho-y. And I like that it has the, do you call that deck claws or something? I don't know, but I like the flowers. So we're going to resell that one. And I saw these striped pink or plum kind of pants and I picked them up and I said, I saw Kristen Nicole, never heard of it, size small. And I look at them. They're butter soft and I throw them back. So I keep looking. And then I come across another pair identically like it. Where are they? Here they are. I come across a black pair. And I look at these and they're that saucy or however. Some of this is an anthropology brand. Some of it is not. They've collabed before. Let's see. Yeah, it's not the RN number for it. But this brand is super good. And I looked at, okay, what's this medium? But I looked at these and they didn't have any flaws. And I was like, well, I can bundle them up together. But now I'm realizing it's a small. So I went back and got the plum. I thought I was going to bundle these, but no, I can't now. Maybe, maybe if I hold them up and measure them, they're the same length. I don't know. I'll measure them. So I thought hopefully I could bundle those. Might have looked out. <clears throat> J. Crew, I pick up J. Crew more because I've told you guys there's a, a girl on YouTube named Erin E R I N. I don't know her last name off the top of my head. I've showed you guys before. Um, I'm all Erin Brockovich. A chick named Erin. She just is like, I love J. Crew, J. Crew, J. Crew, J. Crew. So when I find J. Crew, the tag is nice and fancy. I go ahead and pick it up because it feels good quality and they're pretty stylish. So I got J. Crew. It is, however, an extra small sweater, but it's super uber cute. There's a J. Crew party. Yeah, well, I won't be listing this. Probably my mom. I got too much hard goods, you guys. Hall, Erin Hall, H-A-L-L. -L. Love her. She's more into her Instagram, though, which is a bummer because I'm not a huge Instagram lover like half of the YouTubers are. I'm just a YouTube fan and uh, Facebook. So you've got one, J. Crew piece. <laughs> I don't think it's a huge resale, so... Whatever. Okay, I got two really cool different vintage pieces. You guys are going to love these because I love them. I love them. I know you're going to love them, right? <clears throat> so here's a vintage black dress. This is all velvet, okay? But check out the bottom. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's so freaking cute. My mom is going to list this on her Poshmark. If you want to see it listed, you can follow her on Poshmark. Here's her username in the chat. She's going to love listing this piece. I think she will probably describe it better with the vintage words because I wasn't from that time. Mine are skinny cord pants. So, yeah, this is, like, so funny. It's all velvet, like I said, from all the way down. Is that 80s? Yeah, probably. So, look at that mini skirt and then the ruffle. I love this. I never find pieces like this, but the, um, I have to stress to you, like, the quality of that piece is, like, almost brand new from the 80s. Like, they never wore it, like, one time. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Yep, yep. 
kitchen trash can. Yep. Gotta clean your trash cans. Whew. Okay, on to dresses, and then I'll show you next piece. I'll show you the other vintage cool piece that I got that I haven't even looked up the comps. It may not be a huge profit, but I think it's going to be pretty good anyways. So this next piece, I only got it because of the glitter. I am obsessed with glitter. I love shiny stuff. <laughs> That's even something that is about a Leo because uh, I was born in August. One of the things about a Leo is that we like shiny things and we just like things is what a lady says that I watch. So this is a speechless juniors size five dress. Prom and, okay, yeah. Just had it in their closet. Hubby sitting there complaining he could have got it. He could have got what? Because you're a cat. What? I'm lost. <laughs> okay, so here it is. Here's a dress. And it's just like a little prom dress or little cocktail dress. Short. So cute. I don't even know how to describe the, the style of that dress other than it's shiny and glittery, right? Okay. <clears throat> oh, let me show you the vintage piece. It's actually a two-piece set. I'm so happy that I found both pieces. However, it does have one or two stains on it, but I didn't care. This stuff still sells. Leo equals cat. Oh, they, uh, lion. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so anytime I see the vintage colors, I get excited. You got yellow, orange, and blue. These are totally vintage colors right here, the combination. I grab anything that looks like this, and I need to check it out. So this is a sweater, and it is uh, Adrian Vitadini Woman. It's a size one, which is a plus size, though. 100% uh, cotton made in Hong Kong. This is totally vintage, okay? It's a two-piece jumpsuit. So here's the tag. They still sell this lady's clothes today in, like, Dillard's. So here's the hood. It's got... Uh, kangaroo pockets and I think the shirt had a little stain on it somewhere but I'm not seeing it that's how small it was that I still got it let me see if it's on the pants I'm not seeing it yeah here's one a little spot so here's the pants that match are they a size one come on yay they are so here's the pants they're spandex waist. I could probably fit those, to be honest. I got plus size hips. Oh, it's a skirt. Oh, and Molly, I thought they were shorts or capris. Wow, it's a skirt jumpsuit set. Interesting. I don't know the comps, and I don't care if it's only worth 20 bucks. It's super uber awesome, like Thrifty Christie just said. Super cool. I love that piece. I would totally wear that with like some like ghetto like white vintage tennis shoes. Could you imagine if I was taking like a magazine photo shoot? Not something I'd wear like on a daily basis. <clears throat> okay. I feel like I look like total butt today. No chapstick or nothing. Okay. We're still going. So I... I still have not listed the freaking little girl dresses and it drives me crazy, but I have them all together. And as soon as I get my white box, I'm going to sell them. These do sell you guys vintage little girl dresses. And if you lock them up into a couple pieces, they also sell in lots pretty well too. So here's the vintage paper tag. It's almost like it's never been washed. Maybe one time. Vintage paper tag. Is it made in the USA? No, this one's made in the Philippines. But it's the old vintage embroidered style here. And I didn't see any stains on it. So I went ahead and got this adorable little dress. <laughs> Take pictures outside on a bright day. I know, I do, but I just... Uh, need to list that people that don't wear pants will buy that yeah i just have had like a listing block lately 
Too adorable, the baby dress, yeah, super cute. Oh, MG, I was thinking when I found this shirt, I was like, man, I need a Joe with merch or something to like create me an iguana shirt. I am obsessed with iguanas. I used to have one, I've had like two before in my lifetime, but the last time was when I graduated high school. I uh, had a lady ship him over to Washington DC on an internship that I did and I lost him in Maryland. He got out of the cage and he took off in Maryland. Um, so I've never gotten one since because I've had kids that scream and cry. And you have children that scream and cry. It stresses lizards out. So I can't get one until my six-year-old stops throwing these crying fits, you know? Um, <laughs> so I find this shirt. I guess it's a man shirt. And I'm like, I don't need this, but it's so cute. So it's Get a Life small 34 36 i've never seen a tag like that for men really have y'all and it's got an iguana on it so i need like some feminine iguana shirts mm. and anything that says leo or august or anything with peridot green like the lizard that's my birthstone um i love it i would wear it so this is like some bar shirt, I think. It says tropical bar, music, cocktails, and beer. And it's so cool. I was like, oh, maybe I could cut off the sleeves and make it into a cute little female shirt. I don't know. I might keep that. <laughs> Shoot me. OMG, are y'all ready for this? I showed y'all the vintage piece. OK, good. We're good. Almost done here, guys. Maybe 20 more minutes, maybe? <laughs> 15, 20? I don't know. Um, so here is a super uber sexy vintage lingerie piece. It is probably one of the best ones that you can find because it's the color black. And black is like one of your number one colors ever that people love to wear. Um, it's just amazing. Um, so this is a very, very long, it goes all the way down to the ankles, but each section throughout is lace, so it's see-through. Unfortunately, I couldn't wear this because I have small children, but I mean, it's not something you just wear and take off, right? This would be something you could wear around your house everywhere, I would think. This thing is amazing, and it will probably have over a $60 price on this garment here. So do pick up your vintage um, lingerie because it does sell. And I've sold a couple pieces, so I know it sells. So I'm not really digging these uh, body suits that snap at the crotch that became so popular recently. I, I don't know, I haven't really worn one, but I just think that it would be inconvenient to wear. And it would be hot because it like covers your whole stomach and everything. It's just really tight fitting. I don't like tight fitting stuff. Sometimes I think I could pull off a really cute outfit with one of these though. Uh, hmm, interesting. This is a large. It's hot. Monday. Monday. It's a size large. You guys. Oh my God. So it's got this embroidered, like, hold on, y'all can't see. It's literally see-through right here, all the way down. So sexy. And then on the boob part, it's still see-through. But the floral part is covering, like, your nipples. So you technically really wouldn't. I don't think you'd have to wear a bra with this. Super uber cute. I'm going to have to try this on and see what it looks like. It's so fancy, right? Like, I'd ever wear this. Anywho, um, I'll check it out. Maybe I'll take a picture with it on. I don't know. It may not even fit me. I don't know. I'll have to wash it first, though. <clears throat> okay, so Jealous Tomato. I think this is the same brand as Flying Tomato, but I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think it is. Just got an offer on a Victoria's Secret bra, only $2 less than you're asking. Yay! I'm about to show you some Victoria's Secret bra bras, like, in two minutes. 
So Jealous Tomato, size large. This is the most adorable piece ever. Too bad it's a crop top or I would keep it because it goes here and then it goes on your cold shoulder sleeves there. It's kind of bell sleeve, it's so pretty. However, it like shows everything there. So yeah, wear a shirt underneath of it, I don't know. Many more sales, many more sales, indeed. Okay, I have three Victoria's Secret bras, I think. One, yeah, or two, maybe two. So I was, this one I think needs to be washed. This one seems more worn, but it's really in good condition. It's 32D, both of them are, so I might lock these up because they don't sell for very high. These are just your Victoria's Secret pink basic ones. There's no padding or anything. It's a t-shirt bra, I guess, but it's got the nice funky print. It's really good condition. The only thing wrong with this is like the tag seems really dirty, so I'm going to wash that one before I list it. And this one's also a 32D as well. So I will lot them up. This one's in really good condition. It's like almost new. Because you want to look at the wires and make sure they're not all dirty and stuff like that. So it's very clean. So we don't have to wash that one. Okay, we only have like, what, three more pieces? No, four more? Five more, four more, five more. Okay, so I'm going to probably keep this one. It's a, well, it says it's a small. Luckily, it will still fit me. I do wear small to medium in dresses. I just wear larges and extra larges on my bottoms. But these dresses flare out, and it's got pockets. Hello. That's awesome. I did not know it had pockets. So I'm going to keep this dress because it's cute. It's a brand I've never heard of. Never heard of it. And it's like butter soft. And I just think the print is really pretty. So I'm gonna keep that. And then I never get to find Nicki Minaj, but I found a size large Hoochie Mama shirt. No, not Hoochie Mama. It's clubbing. Oh, it is broken in some spots, is it? No, wait, hold on. Maybe not. So let me show you. She's obviously a rap singer. If you don't know who Nicki Minaj is, she's pretty badass. So there's that. It's kind of a crop top clubbing shirt. I guess it's not broke in the back, is it? Okay, so there's that. Tell you what, whenever you start reselling and you start knowing your brands, you can see them from a mile away, and I'll tell you why in just a second. So I think I got this for Tucker. He's 12. It's a Nike size medium shirt, and I didn't see any stains or holes. So I got that for Tucker, my son, which is awesome. It's just got a little um, crinkling on the Nike, but I think he'll still wear it. Okay. Yeah, so... I'm checking out in line, and the, sometimes the line is so long that you are right next to a row, so you just look through stuff to kill time, and I always find good pieces there. I guess people are like, yeah, no, I don't think that's really going to fit me, or no, that's too heavy, and they throw stuff back right by the register, and uh, I'm looking through stuff, and I take off walking to the left of the row, closer to the register, and my cart's way down here. And I start walking back to my cart, and I look to the left. I ran into a doorknob. I have a bruise here. Um, I turn, and I look to my left, and I see this black fabric that looks like linen. A huge, big old piece of linen. And it's a rough, like a burlap. Is it burlap? Or hemp, kind of? Kind of looks, I don't know how to... I can't think of the word, but I see it right from afar, and I turn around in a heartbeat, and I'm like, is that linen? And lo and behold, it's linen, 
but it's not Chico's. Chico's has nothing on this brand. It's soft surroundings. And it's a big one too. Does it even have the size? That's probably why the uh, person threw it back is because there's no way to determine the size, but I can tell you that this is definitely a plus size and um, I will measure it. So it's definitely gonna be like a 3X. It's not small at all. So um, all Chico's ain't got nothing on it because Chico's is like um, Ann Taylor or Loft to me. It just doesn't, well, on Poshmark, it doesn't sell. I don't know about um, eBay, because I don't really sell clothes on eBay too much. I want to. I just haven't gotten into that yet. I hope to cross post now, soon, now that the kids are back at school. So, okay, yeah, uh, Soft Surroundings is a super good brand. So the last piece I'm going to show you is just a super uber cheap brand. Looks like it's probably something from JCPenney's or Dillard's. I don't know. They do stretch wear. I like stretch. Um, but they are a pair of like uh, sweats. They're pink. Did I show you the tag? I can't remember already. There's a tag, size large. But they're shredded. And I've, I haven't seen these before. So I took a risk on these. If I sell them for 15 or 20 bucks and just get like a eight or $10 profit on these, I'm okay with that. But they are uh, in style because of the like jogger. Like you can totally pull these up into like capris because they have the jogger kind of ankle, you know, tight ankle. So that's it. That's all I got. I am so happy that's done. Again, the tracking still shows my lot box will be here on Monday, so maybe we'll do a video. But there's a possibility we won't because usually UPS doesn't show up till like the end of the day. So maybe Tuesday. Tuesday or Wednesday, I'll see y'all. So let me know if you have any questions or comments or any feedback. Missed you guys, and I'm sure you'll see some more hauls for me. Uh, very soon, probably this coming week. So hope everyone has a good Sunday. You love Poshmark and you should try it. Yeah, um, Bobby Loves the Coupon has been selling good on there. She's been doing good. Thanks, I hope so. Those boots, though, those Ariat boots, those are going to bring me all my investment back. Like this receipt here shows I spent $14 on one of these hauls. Those boots are going to give me at least a $50, around $50 either more or right at around that price range. So, got to go. I have 100 children books to picture. God bless you all. Thanks, Diana. Have a good day. <laughs> Missed you too, Bobby. Okay, bye guys. We'll talk to you soon, okay? Peace out.